It's, uh, it's two minutes past 10 and it's lovely to welcome everybody here today because it's our final session and it's quite momentous really having started in May and continued through to May, complete year and it's been, um, it's been wonderful. We've got a wonderful set of Dharma talks um, beyond all, all expectations from the start, how how um, wonderful it's been and how rich and how varied and how much it's opened up, you know, lots of dhamma and, and experience and practice. So, so we've got, um, we've had a wonderful experience, but also we've recorded it thanks to the perseverance and help of a variety of people. We've actually recorded them and um, they're on. I'll just remind you all of the, the Samatha Buddhist Meditation YouTube channel. <laughs> um, don't forget about it because um, it's well worth going back and listening to the talks again. I've already used one or two with groups and it's been remarkable how how it's been to be able to dip back into that. So, so we've done that. And today's our final talk. Uh, who knows what the future will bring? What it's this series has come to an end, and it's Charles Shaw. And as usual, I haven't got the title in front of me, but my version of it. But I do know that it's a wonderful phrase about in the beginning, the middle, and the end. And and Charles, I hope, will open up by giving us the precise title. So over to you, Charles. Okay, thank you, Veronica. Well, for what it's worth. The title given was, um, I can't even remember myself now. <laughs> Somebody will help you out. They can look it up. Beginning, the end of the beginning and points in between. That's it. So, okay. So, good morning, everyone, and welcome to this final session. So, as Veronica has, uh, has pointed out, this is the last session. And as she's also pointed out, what a, a very um, wide ranging and diverse group of um, events they proved to be. But I think, um, so the first thing I would like to do since it's the last one is simply to uh, expand on what Veronica said and to thank all those who've been involved, whether it's in putting together the program, in hosting the talks, in, the, in the, the very dedicated team who've been behind the scenes editing the talks and making them available to others. Um, and perhaps I can say on behalf of all those who've been so generously introduced by Veronica, um, and indeed by all those who've witnessed the talks, a very uh, enormous thank you to, to Veronica for uh, I feel somehow throughout this changing program has provided a kind of continuing heartbeat throughout the whole thing to keep it going. So <laughs> thank you for that. So as we've noted, we've had a very wide and interesting program of talk to date. Of course, at the very heart of what we do is the meditation practice. And so it was quite appropriate that at the beginning of the talks, we had not just one talk, but a whole series of talks on the, the meditation practice. Of course, as we also know, after we've been practicing for a while, we we tend to sort of extend our interests and become involved in various other things as well. And the subsequent range of talks has in a way reflected that. So we've had talks on other kinds of practice, on metta practice and Brahma Viharas, on various kinds of theory and chanting, some based on sutta, some on Abhidhamma, We've had talks on kind of expressions of the practice, if you like, through arts and crafts, through music and singing. We've had talks about 
journeys of various kinds. Journeys to faraway places, or maybe just out into the garden. Journeys told through stories or fables. And other journeys along various paths of development of different kinds. We've had stories about, you might say, it talks about the law of things, dependent origination. And then last week, fittingly, we had a talk on, on anicca, on change or impermanence. So taken as a whole, this great variety of subject matter somehow represents a broader notion of path which affects the whole of our lives and is involved in one way or another in bringing into being the whole of the path. Anyway, a great deal has been said along the way. And I'm not sure that we need to say any more. However, we might like to spend just a little time paying attention just to, as it were, to closing things down. And I thought we could do that in three ways. One involving something that we normally associate with beginnings, something else associated with endings. And to begin with, something to, if you like, set a kind of context for all of that. And for that, we're going to do a short recollection practice. You can just sit where you are. Um, so no need to change anything. In a moment, I'll give an instruction just to start things off. But by way of explanation, so normally, in terms of recollection, normally we think of recollection practice in relation to just to a single sitting practice. But th this time will be a little different. So this time, we're going to be recollecting from where we are now, back over recent days and weeks and months for a year and a half or so. Should we say back to a time, let's say before we'd ever heard a different world where we'd never heard of COVID or uh, all the changes that have happened in between, just a different place. And then when we've gone that far back, then we can just come quickly back to the present moment. Okay. So when we're doing this, don't, there's no need to try to force it to, to actively try to remember anything. But just, just cast the mind back slowly and patiently, step by step, a bit at a time, and just see what comes up. A feeling, a face, a thought, a recollection, impression, whatever it is, anything that comes up. Okay, so we'll just do this for about five minutes. And we'll start, if we just start by just being aware of where you are now in the body, in the present moment, where the mind is now. Whatever state it may be in, whatever, doesn't matter. Just be aware of that. And then gradually, Take the attention back day by day, week by week, month by month. And when you get back to that place, that different world before all the changes that we've seen recently, and then you can turn around and just come briefly back to the present time. And I'll signal the end.
You can make your way back to the present. And then when you're ready, you can just finish the practice. So, I think sometimes when we find our kind of assumptions about daily life, challenged or the things that we take for granted taken away. Sometimes it makes us think back to the kind of roots of things and what really matters. You know, never mind the sort of day-to-day -day wants and not wants, but fundamentally, what are the things that really, really count for us? And in practice terms, I suppose this is expressed through something we do daily, through or regularly, through taking refuge, what we call taking refuge. And I suppose that's something that we also associate with beginnings, but also beginnings are endings and so on. One of the, the curious thought which came to me, well, I don't know if it was curious, but anyway, I'll share it with you. I was just thinking the other day whether the fact of being, having been through it at the time when I suppose for everybody to one, to some extent or another, things have been challenged or made different in some way or another. Um, how far does that, does that have any effect on on taking refuge, either, either in terms of what we conceive of as refuge or why we might think that matters. Or maybe we think that the whole value of refuge is the fact that it's something that sits outside that sort of day-to-day -day flux of things. I don't know. There is, of course, no right answer to that, but anyway, I found it an interesting thing to to think about, so you may or may not. Anyway, so the thing that we will do to uh, associate with beginnings is to take refuge. We'll take the refuges and precepts. And we can do that today. We can do that both in the present moment and in the knowledge of what has gone before, and also as the basis for or open to whatever may lie in front, whatever that may be. Okay, so at this point, we will, we will chant the refuges and precepts. If you like to use a book, it's on page two, or if you prefer not to join in the chanting, it's fine just to rest with the idea of what, what is refuge for you. Okay, so I will chant them and you can join in or listen or whatever you find comfortable. No more does a pecker what or a hat or some some would has a no more does a pecker what or a hat or some some would has a not more does a hacker what door at the hat door, some ma, some would have sat. Would hung Saratnam Gachami. Dhammam Saratnam Gachami. Some hung Saratnam Gachami. Dutti Ampit Buddham Saratnam Gachami 
ดุติยมปิธรรมังสารนังกัจฮามิดุติยมปิสังขังสารนังกัจฮามิตัติยมปิบุตหังสารนังกัจฮามิตัติยมปิธรรมังสารนังกัจฮามิตัติยมปิสังขังสารนังกัจฮามิปานาทิปาตาเวรมณีสิกหาปัตังสมาดิยามิอัจินาดานาเวรมณีสิกหาปัตังสมาดิยามิกามิสุมิจาจาราเวรมณีสิกหาปัตังสมาดิยามิมุสาวาดาเวรมณีสิกาปัตังสมาดิยามิสุรเมรยะมัจจปมาดะธานาเวรมณีสิกาปัตังสมาดิยามิโอเคแล้วสุดท้ายที่เราไปถึงที่ที่เกี่ยวกับการจบและในส่วนนี้เราจะทำสองสิ่งคือเราจะทำการเจริญและเราจะทำการทรานสเฟอร์ของเมริตในส่วนนี้ดังนั้นการทรานสเฟอร์ของเมริตถ้าเราคิดถึงการทำการเจริญในส่วนนี้มันต้องมีอะไรที่ช่วยให้เราได้รับความสนใจเราได้เจอสิ่งที่ Something good, something of value. To keep following these things, these talks, whatever that may be. So now we can simply release that in terms of a benefit for us, and just think of it in terms of a benefit for others. Whether that's a benefit for some particular person who's in trouble, somebody who maybe someone who's just died, or maybe more broadly, just to release more generally, whatever. Whatever you wish, whatever comes to heart. Mm. And then at the end of the, uh, the when we chanted the uh, uh, um, the transference of merit, which is on page six, uh, we'll all together we can unmute and chant the uh, sadhu 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 together. That we can do all together, and then after that we can simply let go, and all finished, all done. We can close. Okay. So, Julian, if you could start us with the blessing, please, and then Ian will chant the t r a n s f e r e n c e of merit, and then we'll all chant the sadhu, and then we will all release. You know, there is a thing in the in the vocabulary of. Uh, Of insight practice, they call it insight into insight, or if you like, letting go of letting go. So we can finish with a with a bit of that. Okay. So Julian, when you're ready, please. Bhavati sapa mangalang rakanti sapa tevata sapa bhuta nubawa na sadasoti bhavantu te. ปาวาทิสาปมังกลังกรคันทิสาปเตวตาสาปตัมมานุบาเวนะสัตตสุทิปวันทิเตปาวาทิสาปมังกลังกรคันทิสาปเตวตาสาปสังหานุบาเวนะสัตตสุทิปวันทิเต Etawata cha ammehi sambatang punya sampadang sambe dewa numodang tu sambasampadhi sedia 
Eta wata cha ammehi sambatang punya sampadang. Sabbe sakantanumudantu sabbe sampanti siddhya. Eta wata cha ammehi sambatang punya sampadang. Sambe bhutanu modantu sambha sambhanti sediya.